Watching the flank. One goal way down. Chris is going to do it. That is it. There has been some incredible teams throughout Call of Duty history. The complexity in Opta Gaming dynasties, even Atlanta phase of today. But other, technically professional teams have been pretty damn awful. You are washed. Every single one of you. That's how I think. I'm the best. The year is 2017, and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is into its second stage of the CWL Global Pro League. Team Elevate, an English squad of Zed, Watson and Reedy, have just brought in Desire after now Warzone Pro rated left for Red Reserve. They were drawn into Group Blue with Face Clan, who had just recruited Gunless, widely considered the best player of the first few months in place of Playstack. You need to make a play, you need to take this round. Now you definitely don't, I think. You know, once that first player drops, but he's gonna do it. Here it is. He can catch one, there's 15 seconds left. He sees one, he's got oh, the player oh, 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 Enigma 6 and Ghost Gaming rounded out the group, not exactly stacked with top teams. They began their journey against Enigma 6, just about avoiding a 100 point club on retaliation hardpoints, achieving one round on throwback search and destroy, and throwing away an actual advantage on Frost Uplink for Enigma 6, what a play from Proto! To secure the 3-0 defeat, Ghost Gaming made light work of them next up, as Elevate got body bagged every single map. Precinct Uplink was so brutal that really popped camo in the hope that his problems would go away. Hint, they did not. FaZe put together another 3-0 dismantling as Elevate started the group with a 0 in 9 map count. But wait! There's more! Halfway to not winning a map in the entire stage, could anyone stop their dreams becoming a reality? Hardpoint seemed to provide their best chance, but it wasn't enough against Ghost Gaming the second time around. Another 3-0 pounding. Three more embarrassing maps against FaZe solidified the 0 in 15, matching a popular Jack Courage Dunlop meme of the time. Enigma 6 had a chance then to put the final nail in the coffin. I believe at this point a seven time member of the 100 point club this weekend for Elevate, as there are three staples in life, folks there's death, there's taxes, and there's Elevate for losing heart. <laughs> oh, no. With Elevate the laughing stock of the entire kind of analyst this desk. Game off, we were expecting Enigma Six to, to take it. Momo, you, you take a look at the maps here. I don't need to. Is there any? Okay. There, Momo uh, told me that Elevate's gonna win breakout S and D. He did. Me, yeah, just. No, no, no. Uh, Phil said that Uplink is their strongest game. Of oh, he did. Okay, because yeah. uh, Phil told me earlier. What was it? Throwback. Throwback hard yeah, point was, was actually their best map. Yeah. Breakout S and D goes to Elevate again. <laughs> Elevate. Again, again you're telling me. It, they can't go 0 and 18. You, you said again like they won the last one. They lost. <laughs> again, they haven't won a game. There's no again. They, okay. <laughs> okay. They haven't done anything again. Okay, they haven't done anything yet, but you know what? No, this Watson. That's the last, right? Watson turns up on Sunday. On Sunday. They lose. Okay. okay. Again, to, to, to reiterate, all E6 need here is a win. It doesn't matter the, the score whatsoever. They just have to win this series. Yep, and, three, uh, we expect them to win this series. Still, still, still he's still there. believing. There's no way Elevate go Oh, There 18. is team. No way. Zero in 18 map count is bad, don't get me wrong, but it's only six series losses in a row. We can do much better than that. Going back to the inception of the Call of Duty World League in 2016, competition was split into three regions. North America, USA, USA, Europe, and Australia, New Zealand. Down in A and Z, four teams would qualify for the stage one regular season through online play including Clodec, Huna, Squizzy, and Tupaka. Pixel and Hoji would also play on this Steam. Signed by Team XL5 upon their qualification, they would achieve an impressive feat. Notable for Kayla Squizzy Squires as the first and only female player to qualify for the CWL, Exile 5 failed to deliver on the server. Over seven weeks of double round robin competition, the squad would deliver a grand total of zero wins and 14 losses. 42 map defeats with just three victories. Streaks. He was only 20, I think, sorry, excuse me, 250 points away from that rate. And unfortunately, he was going to be taken down before he could get to it. He's going to be ripping out that lightning strike and putting that to use as well. Got that trophy system going to be working for him as well. But he's going to be taken down there by that player, that was Squizzy, who was coming in to shut that one down. Yeah, and I mean, with that, we only have a couple more seconds left in this game, most likely. If Apotheon keep on the trend right here, but it is going to be contested right now in spades. With that, uh, with that scythe, we'll look to close this one up. 250 points to 47 is going to be the overall score there for that one, and that is uh, that is map one.
very, very quickly. Record time there, and uh, I think that was probably the highest scoring differential we have seen so far in the ANZ Pro Division. Uh, over 200 points. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the, in the 200 club right there. Uh, you know, a phrase you haven't heard of it for a long time. After starting the season 0 in 24, they almost won a series, going up 2 0 over Plantronics. He's already picked up one in this round, which was Hunter a little early on. He needs to pick up three more. There's. No, <laughs> not one! Hold you! you. <laughs> what a turn! I thought he picked it up. I was ready for the call. I was like, yep, there's one right there. Look at that! Oh. Look at Whoa. that! The RK5 oh. showing him what's up. XL5, <laughs> man, take their second map. It took them 24 maps to get one Ken? on the 25th. They then backed it up in the 26th to secure <laughs> that one as well. If they get a 3-0 sweep, that's going to be ridiculous. Before, you guessed it, getting reverse swept into Brute Oblivion. Run that flag at, at, the, uh, at any point in time in this map. Tupac is going to get shut down there from the century in the back. Foe just gonna be holding this one as well. Squizzy gets taken down at seven seconds. No chance to be able to make anything happen in this map. Unfortunately, they're gonna be goosed right now in this one. Two to zero though is the score. Envy take that one out and uh, the reverse sweep is looking real right now for Envy, but I still believe in XL5. You, know, you never know how things are going to be pan panning out for me. Claw's going to be running on forward. There's going to be a couple players there as well. You know, you're going to swap open. Oh, Squeezie, you know, she's taking it outside the Hoju. Hoju. He's going to get no oh. one. That is going to be 6-3. The dream is over. Envy take that one out. However, that may have been a reverse sweep, but you got to give credit where credit is due. What a series. Finishing the stage with a characteristic 3-0 loss, Exile 5 would eventually lose 4-1 in the relegation tournament, never to be seen again in competitive Call of Duty. Can it get any worse than 0 wins, 14 losses? Turns out it can. Uh -oh. With a map win rate of 5.26% over 57 maps, introducing Paul's Gaming. This French team resided in the European division of Stage 1 of the CWL 2016, which featured 10 teams, two more than the ANZ region, two more teams to get 3 0 by. The squad of Azox, Jays, Pleaser and Veziok smashed the 24 loss streak record set by XR5, losing every single map of the first four and a half weeks of competition, setting a new record of 28 L's in a row, before finally winning a Stronghold Search and Destroy against oh, TCM. Like he's coming through. Oh no, I thought he was going to kill his own team and Brands helped. Oh, that was such a mistake, but now a two versus two. Round number 10, this could be it, Machine. It certainly could. Two kills away. Pulse can actually taste and feel their first map win of the World League. And they get another step closer. Azok with the Vespa finds Sunny B. What patch, he says, with that kill. And now Bran has to try and keep TCM alive. It's happened. It really has happened. History has written. Pulse, win a map. Finishing the stage with zero series wins and 18 defeats, they truly set the bar for how bad you can possibly be. Kinetic Armor is going to aid him. Just one more. No, two. Zed. He is most definitely not dead. And he's going to find potential another he's one. He's heading for them. I should be watching the attacking team. But look, he's shooting an assault rifle kind of range with his VMP. Finishing things off there. 6-0. What a way to do it. Nine kills. And Vesiox and Azok didn't manage to pick up one. They went out with a bang though, winning a map against Epsilon in stunning fashion in their final Pro League series. No, Joe falls, rated, picks up one, the one versus three to stay undefeated on, what am I talking about? I'm not undefeated to Pulse, there we go. There you go. He can still do it. He certainly can, 20 seconds, that tag's not gonna be nope. enough. And Pulse have won another map. It's gonna be their third map win of the World League. To the surprise of nobody, Pulse fell 4-1 to Exertus Esports at relegation, a team which featured Desire, who would go on as part of the legendary Elevate squad who started the video. And there you have it, the worst professional teams in Call of Duty history. Let us know if we missed any in the comment section below. Don't forget to make the like button turn blue if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more COD highlights, recaps, and documentaries.